top of the morning to you. I am here, Barrel Home Park. Now I always go sledding down these hills right here. I am 42 years old. That's a museum I've never been in. It's called the Ryers Museum. It's a Victorian house that was built in 1859. And inside is a, uh, you can see the first two rooms are all like Victorian rooms. And you can see how they lived. But then you go into the next room and bam, it's an Asian museum. And you go upstairs and they got more, more stuff. So me and you, we're going to take a tour of the Ryers Museum in Barrow Home Park. Uh, right next to Jean's Hospital. It's off of Cotman Ave. And we're going to sail together and see what's inside this museum. So right now I'm going to hit... Oh, look at this. See this here? Uh, these are... It's the uh, pet cemetery to uh, all their uh, pets. That's from the 1800s. Uh, a little Nelly. All right. So, all right. Pause. All right, so you come in, and there's a little library. You go there, and you go down these steps. There's some artwork. Now there's a lot of little details in here, and there's little tiny things. And my ADHD cannot probably shoot this museum properly, so you should probably come and check it out yourself. Uh, hmm. The museum's free. It's open, I think, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. I'll have a link in the description below. You come in, they have all these paintings. Yeah. Hello. And this is the parlor where the family would sit. All right. Look at that guy in the background. And they would sit. And this used to be the family's vacation home. The, uh, the guy, uh, that guy right there, he used to live on Walnut Street. So to get away from the city and the heat, he would come to Borough Home Park, which he named. And that's his son. And there's some other paintings. You come on this side, and this is the dining room. Yeah, I feel bad for that painting. Doesn't get any love. No one sees it. That there, the alligator thing, back in the day, you know, uh, you would leave your business card, which I guess it wouldn't have a phone number because there wasn't a phone, so it would just have your, I guess your correspondent, I don't know, who knows. So you got that. Look at the uh, chandelier, that's nice. And then you come in here. Right. These doors here, they would close in the winter time to keep the drafty air out. That's Wow, that's what it used to look like. Now it's all streets, hospitals, okay. houses. Oh, oh, okay, we're good. How's that? Is that? It's a little tea set for kids. Is that okay? Yep, that's good. So it looks like uh, a little soup? The one on this side is over a little bit. The one? Uh, the, it's been one. The one that's over a little bit. That way? No, the uh, to your... Pause. Okay. Here's a view of the front porch today in 2019. Like I said, you see the houses right there. That's common now, there's the porch. All right, boss. See, so you, you go, okay, it's a Victorian museum. And then you come in, pow! All this stuff from uh, Asia and India. The 
details on that stuff. Yeah. This this thing here, look at this guy. All right, this this is a armor, steel and leather. This guy is on a six foot stand. Look how much taller. I would have whooped his ass. Probably not. He probably would have done something. Yeah. But look how tiny they are. These are little ivory geisha, geisha girls, geisha, whatever. All ivory. Wow. That's crazy. Look at the detail in that. That's crazy. That's not crazy. It's really good. Got a guy lying on a bed of nails. So in 1920, this became a museum. It was no longer a private residence. And that's when this stuff, uh, the stuff from the Middle East, or not the Middle East, dust, but Asia. These are snuff bottles. I don't know what snuff is. It's a good band from England, I know that. Look them up on uh, YouTube. Good punk band. That's the Taj Mahal made of marble. Wow. They got these little things all over the place. Please do not touch. It's not the Please Touch Museum. It's the Ryers Museum. Don't touch anything. These are little hair things. These are Buddhist. These are malas. These are uh, Buddhist prayer beads. But let's take a look. There is a, <clears throat> if you do a search on YouTube of the Ryers Museum, there is a Channel 3 report or a Channel 10. I still get the Channel 10 and Channel 3 confused. It's about 30 years. I still don't know. But uh, there was a reporter from Channel 3 who came in and did a story. That Buddha statue in the back is from a, the uh, 11th century. And uh, she touched the statue in the news report. What a... <sighs> These are, these are uh, things that you would see in front of a Buddhist temple, and you would ring the bells to let them know you're there. But yeah, so, so, so the reporter comes in. They, they welcome her into the, the, the museum, like they did to me. Very nice people here. And she goes, oh, look, a Buddha belly starts. It's a thousand years old. Keep your hands off it. Channel 3 reporter, Channel 10 reporter. I don't know who you are. All right. And they're doing something today for uh, Chinese New Year. These things. There's a, there's a dead bird. There's a dead peacock. Oh, here's another. Look, right, I'm six foot tall, and you can't teach that. And there is a uh, yeah, there's a guy's outfit. There's two two feet of stand. I'm almost as tall. I would have been a god in Japan at those days. Alright, well, let's go upstairs. Pause.
and I can't pause, unpause. There's some artwork when you go up the steps. There's. So up here on the second floor is the family's personal collection. Uh, they have paintings of the dead pets that are outside. For some reason, there's an ostrich egg box. Like that was a thing. These are uh, souvenirs of the World's Fair. So, I think I'll do the Chinese New Year's thing in here today. Here's uh, some footwear from. Look at these. See these? These are the things. You ever see the Chinese ladies with the, 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 the scrunched up feet? Why do they do that? What the hell do they do that for? There's a thing for King Edward III. Like really, why would you? Like, hey, uh, hey, uh, I need you to make your feet tiny. I don't get it. This is the what is that? It's creepy. Is that nightmares are made of that. Here's some uh, here's some weapons from back in D Day. There's a bayonet. Here's some boomerangs. Good night, Mike. All right, yeah, that's my that's my Australian guy. This is their uh, China. There's a fly in my soup. All right. There's a spittoon, I guess. There's George Washington. Some more China. Now this this second floor has a lot of tiny stuff. They have old beer steins from the 19th century. Statues of drunk people. Coffee mugs of heads. Apparently that was a thing. You would just... Okay. There's another brass plank. These are all like China, China and coffee mugs. Stuff. It's a beer stein from the. Uh, uh, this is from 1401. Pretty neat. 1514. this. They call this a Hubble bubble pipe. I call that a very old bomb. This is all about their pets and how much they love them. And then they got some Native American artwork. spider crab. There's a, did you ever see Nemo? There's the sea turtle. That's what wound up, that's what happened to him at the end. He got caught by a fisherman. They hung him in the museum. That's the bones of a crucifix fish. I've never heard of that. There are shells. There's a puffer fish. That's our second museum in a row with a puffer fish.
some silverware, vases. Really, what's the point of a vase? I mean, it just takes up space. I guess it's to show off how rich you are. Remember when Michael Jackson, that documentary when Michael Jackson came out and he went vase shopping and he spent like $3 million in 10 seconds? It's a weird guy. I got this painting up here. And this this is an old totem pole. pole. Totem. Totem. I'm not saying that right. This is a totem. Yeah, I'm saying that. This is an old totem pole. It used to sit outside of this museum for 50 years. And there it is. They pulled it in. The weather worn it down. And there's they have the little mineral collection. There's a nice little carpet. And then inside here they got a little library, which is still open. And that's it. That's our trip to the Ryers Museum and Library. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. I'm gonna have a description to this place down at the bottom. Pay them a visit. The, the, um, there's no no price to come in and look at it. It's free. It's free. It's free. It's for me. Uh, but you can leave a donation. Don't be a jerk off. All right. I will sail with you later. Well, I think if we have Toodles.